What's going on, everybody? What's going on? What's going on? This is Leonard Miles, a.k.a. Two Degrees in the CDL. And you already know how we do. We come to you live with the news, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And this is definitely bad and ugly for this former uh, truck company owner. But we'll get right into it. Shout out to Freight Ways for the article. Former New York trucking company owner convicted of lying to the FMCSA. Tony Keurig duped regulatory agency, DOT, by submitting fake documents. Federal jury determines. Okay. A former New York trucking company owner was convicted by a federal jury of making false statements to the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration. Tony Keurig, who also goes by Anatoly, operated Rochester-based Dallas Logistics, which had millions of dollars in revenue. He submitted false documents regarding the safety rating of his business to the FMCSA during compliance reviews and safety audits. Even though the company had many safety violations, the IRS said in the announcement. To dupe the FMCSA, Keurig created companies under family members' names to make it look like the new companies were independent and not associated with the existing business that had received negative safety ratings. In reality, the new companies were extensions of the prior company, which Keurig was required to disclose but didn't. A criminal complaint filed in November 2020 says the FMCSA examiners discovered that Dallas Logistics was falsely registered as being operated out of Dallas and was wrongly listed as being owned by someone identified as Jay-Z. When examiners questioned the discrepancy, they received a letter signed by someone identified as AB stating that Jay-Z was planning to relocate to Dallas when his mother got seriously ill and his father developed health ailments. Examiners learned that Dallas Logistics was actually owned by Keurig and was a reincarnation of Orange Transportation Services, which was owned by Keurig and received a negative safety rating, the complaint says. Keurig is scheduled to be sentenced in October in the U.S. District Court for the Western District of New York. He faces up to five years in prison and a $250,000 fine, federal prison. That's federal prison where he'll serve majority of his time, may get out with a few months to spare, but he'll definitely serve all his time in custody, majority of it. So some things that you know that can, <clears throat> excuse me, when I see many safety violations, you know, I'm, I'm, I automatically think about, you know, the truck and trailer, you know, doing, not doing your pre-trip inspections and you get caught, you know, at those at those DOT um, way stations and they shut you down for for safety violations. And it could be anything that they consider to be, you know, detrimental for the road. And, you know, they're going to shut you down, you know, regardless of the fact, you know, as an owner operator, you got to keep those things you know, up to par. You got to keep them, you know, basically above standards. Um, traffic tickets, accidents, anything that you can think of with that semi truck, you know, can be a safety violation, you know, and it can get to a point where, you know, the FMCSA just deems you, you know, irresponsible as a, as a motor carrier. And they can they can be rid of you, or if they not if they, or if they don't get rid of you, you know, you'll have a CSA score so low that not many companies are going to be willing to work with you. So you have to get a lot of the of the companies that are going to pay the the lower freight. I, I would say so. You know, to anybody out there, that's. that's Aspiring to be a owner operator, just realize, you know, you got to pay the cost to be the boss. So whatever safety violations that, you know, the FMCSA, you know, are saying that you that you need to be working on, you know, make sure you get that stuff taken care of. Do not put just do not put your truck back out there. You know, do not put any of your equipment out there, you know, until it's road ready. The safety violations, you know, they deal strictly with that truck and trailer, you know. You know, make sure you're doing that pre-trip and post-trip inspection to pick up those certain things, letting your boss know what's going on. If your boss don't address what's going on, then hey, at that point, 
you need to decide whether or not you want to continue to drive for that company or not. But if things aren't addressed, you know, as Mr. Kirix, you know, he, he clearly didn't address them. And you get this right here. And unfortunately for him, you know, he made his bed and, you know, he's going to be serving some time in prison. So, hey, yeah, just make sure you just keep doing what you're doing out here. You know, if you're on operator, you know, you know, and if you got a small fleet, you know, just make sure that you're doing what you're supposed to do. We, we see too much, too much of, of, of this stuff right here. And you would think, you know, the more people who continue to get caught, you know, with the fraud, that it would reprogram a lot of people's mind to do the right thing. But that'd be too much like right. But that's all that I have for this article. Um, I want you all to let me know what you think. I'll make sure that I drop the link to the article in the description. Uh, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. As always, I appreciate the support. We are on the road to 1K. All my truck drivers, keep it safe and keep it in the middle of the road. And until next time, I'm out.